Hi folks, welcome back to the uh, to the third <coughs> test. Here we are again with the uh, the Lions Q and A session with Pete Squires. Welcome, Pete. Nice to have you back. Pleasure. Okay, right. Let's get straight into it. Tell us where you keep your cap. <laughs> um, I hate to say it, but at this moment in time, it's in a box under the bed. But it is waiting to oh. go into a cabinet, a case to go up on the wall. There's a place for it on the wall and it will go. The, re the reason is it's in a box of beds because we've moved house in the last 12 months. Oh, right. So, um, you haven't worried there for a moment. Yes, we definitely didn't leave it at the previous house. <laughs> Come with us. That's reassuring. So prior to, prior to starting uh, a match, did you have any little rituals or superstitions that you used to carry out, that you used to do before? Uh, no, I'm afraid I didn't <laughs> have anything. Um, I really just wanted wanted the game to start. Mm -hmm. Wanted the referee's whistle to blow. Just, but, uh, but just get on with it. Get on with the game, please. Yeah. All right. Actually, my my son who uh, plays plays down here. He um, he has this this rule where he will only wear the same pair of boxer shorts for each game. He's got like his playing pair of boxer shorts. So I guess that's his kind of pre-match <laughs> ritual. <And>, uh, <laughs> so can you tell us, were you ever approached to switch codes? Um, I, I was um, approached by, by somebody um, from a rugby league club, um, but I didn't pursue it really at all. Um, it's a good game. I do watch some rugby league, uh, but it's a different game to rugby union. Yeah. Um, and also, I had got rugby union to play to concentrate on. I'd got cricket, professional cricket with Yorkshire, mm -hmm. and um, I'd also got my P teaching as well. So yeah. I wasn't really in a position um, to to go. At yeah, you mentioned before that the uh, the school kind of gave you a leave of absence to play. I guess one more yes. ask might have been too much, yeah. perhaps. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yes, yes. Yeah. So apart from, well, actually, you can you can choose the first test if you want, but apart from that, what was your favourite international match to to play in? Um, I think. Um, my next favourite match, and it's very, a very close one yeah. to it, um, was the 1973 England tour to New Zealand. Um, we were supposed to be touring Argentina, but it was it was cancelled, right. um, and it w hastily rearranged trip to New Zealand, where we lost all the. The warm up games against the, uh, the, the, the tourists, uh, against the, the district sides. Mm -hmm. um, and on the last day of the tour, we played against New Zealand and beat them. Mm -hmm. And that was the first time that England had beaten New Zealand on New Zealand soil. Uh, first, first time ever. First time ever. And we won oh, the game 16-14, wow. I believe, and I scored a try in that uh, in that win. So I was pretty chuffed about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty chuffed hearing about it. So in the first ever win on New Zealand soil, yes, you scored a try for England rugby. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh man, oh man, I'm having a real fanboy moment here now. <laughs> that's that's pretty pretty special. <laughs> So what's the most frequently asked rugby question that you, you get asked? Probably, are you sure you played rugby, <coughs> your size and height? And, uh, and really, I suppose I, I respond with, well, you do have, there are examples of smaller, smaller players, mm -hmm. uh, which we've got with the Springboks, and he was a quality player. Yeah, uh, sadly. Yes. Um, <coughs> and uh, and obviously scrum halves mm -hmm. still fall in the, the smaller category, but uh, by sort of accident, I did end up on the wing, mm -hmm. and uh, 
Um, so I suppose that, that gets asked quite a lot. Um, right. and that's, that's I suppose I do response. say that rugby is a game for all shapes, all sizes. So Yes, I think that's what was always said, wasn't it? When the big yeah. lad went in the front row and <laughs> the big it. pole went in the second row. And I guess if, you, if you've got the skill <laughs> and you've got the talent and you can do a job, then you know, why not? I think so, yeah. 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 Tell us where the nickname Squidgy came from. Um, I've, I've thought about that, and I, I can only think, I don't, I don't honestly know, but I can only think it's something like a Squidgy Squires. A, <laughs> so so you, a, you don't remember? No, I, don't, I don't remember. I don't even remember when people, not many people use it, <laughs> right. to be honest, uh, but I can't remember when it was started. But <laughs> well, well, maybe there's a story out there somewhere. Perhaps we can ask whoever submitted the question to <laughs> give us the answer as well, and you know, then we'll all know. Yes, please. <laughs> okay, cool. So, thinking back then, um, in terms of highlights, highlights for your uh, sporting achievements in both rugby and cricket, can you can you pick out one in particular for each? I think rugby-wise has to be picked for the Lions. Ah, yeah, well, of course, but yeah. Really, when I was pick for England, I think it would have I would have thought pick for England, so yeah, yeah. But, uh, it's a close one, uh, but the Lions have been just shade it, and for Yorkshire, uh, that has to be being selected to play for Yorkshire County Cricket Club first 11, um, but uh, and I wasn't quite good enough to, uh, uh, to continue that cricketing career. Uh, but it was a great honour to, to play yeah, for great Yorkshire. achievement in it to be selected in the first place. Yeah, yeah. All right, it's been, uh, it's been, it's been so special. It's been really, really great. Thank you so much for the answers. Um, really, really interesting. What I want to talk to you about now is, uh, I'm not sure if you're aware, but the the club has a challenge, and it gets wheeled out every now and again. Uh, between me and you, I can tell you that I have taken part. For those of you that are not aware, the Pete Squires Challenge is a race that starts from the try line you run the length of the pitch, and you run back again. When I competed, I had a very formidable opponent, um, an, ex, an ex-club captain, Ian Barks, Ian Barker. I wish that I could say it was competitive, it, it, it really, really wasn't. Uh, Barks won, but I definitely got the loudest cheer when I scored a try at the end. So, do you remember I said that there were, I had two questions for you? My second question then, uh, in, in kind of two parts. First one is, so how does it feel to have a Ripon Rugby Union Football Club Challenge named in your honour? And second part, who would we like to see compete? Do we want to see Fletch and Marzi maybe? Or um, current club chairman Briggsy against ex-club president Noddy? What do we reckon there? I feel very honoured that the event is still continuing and I feel that I have to nominate Fletch because he made me do this sitting in this chair. <laughs> that was a great one Pete, you heard it Fletch, he's coming. <laughs> do you want me to do that again? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, Pete. Okay, so <laughs> you're you are uh, a Ripon Rugby Club legend, um, and you're certainly the most decorated of all our club uh, alumni. On behalf of the club, on behalf of the exec committee, and all of our club members, I really want to say like a massive, massive thank you. It's it's been really great. It's been funny. It's been interesting, and you know we've had a little bit of a laugh. So that that's great. And for me especially, I've got to tell you, it's. It's been a real pleasure, and uh, you've made a middle-aged man with a mullet very, very happy. So cheers. Pleasure. It's been my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.